a little bit about one of the most favorite topics in our preschool. It is the solar system. So the solar system is where eight planets go around the sun. And we have a song for that in another video, so be sure to check it out. So we're going to be learning about the eight planets. And I highly recommend this really great book called Our Solar System by Seymour Simon. And I have a link to it on our website at youaremysunshinepreschool.com as well. So let's go through our solar system. Are you ready to be an astronaut? Our solar system is inside of the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way galaxy has billions and billions of stars. Our sun is just one of the stars inside of the Milky Way galaxy. Yes, it has the same name as a candy bar, but we can't eat the stars. Stars are very, very hot. Our sun is just an ordinary star among the more than 200 billions of stars in the Milky Way. We think that the sun looks really big because it's closer to us than the other stars. The sun is huge compared to the Earth. If the sun were hollow, it could hold about 1.3 million Earths. The sun is pretty much a big, giant ball of fire. You can see a really cool picture there. The sun is really important for us because without it, we wouldn't have sunlight for plant growth. We wouldn't have warmth. And without plant growth, we wouldn't have animals, and we wouldn't be able to be alive. This is a picture of the center, or the core, of the sun. It's really beautiful. Showing the different layers and some of the explosions that are constantly going on. Here are some real pictures of the planets that we're going to be visiting. All right, our first stop is to a planet called Mercury. Let's get our astronaut helmets on. Seat belts buckled. Click, click, click. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Let's land at our first planet, Mercury. Mercury is the planet right next to the sun. Mercury has a lot of craters on it, just like our moon. The big craters were made by countless meteorites or asteroids crashing into the surface. Mercury is an almost airless planet. The temperature gets to about 750 degrees during the day, hot enough to melt lead, and at night it gets down to the on the dark side to about negative 300 degrees. Very, very cold. So even though it's so close to the sun, it can get very, very cold at night because there's no atmosphere to hold the heat in. Here is our model of Mercury. Pretty exciting. All right, let's get ready to visit the next planet. Put your helmets on, seat belts buckled, click, 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 click. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Shh. Let's land at our next planet. It's called Venus. Venus. After our moon, Venus is the brightest object in the night sky. The Romans named Venus after their goddess of love and beauty. Venus is sometimes called the evening star or the morning star. But Venus isn't a star. It is the second planet from the sun. One, two. 
from Earth, Venus seems to change its shape, as do Mercury and the Moon. But we know they're always the same shape. Venus is sometimes called Earth's sister planet because they're about the same size. But Venus is very, very different from Earth. Like Earth, it's covered by thick layers of clouds. That's what you see around here. Thick layers of clouds. Below the clouds is a thick atmosphere of carbon dioxide. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. A desert with temperatures of close to 900 degrees. Here is a beautiful picture of Venus. NASA's Magellan spacecraft orbited and photographed Venus for four years. On October 11, 1994, it made a dramatic conclusion. By crash landing in order to gain data on the planet's dense atmosphere and on the performance of the spacecraft. All right, so here is our model of Venus. And it has all these white stripes around it because that is the thick, thick cloud layer all around the planet. All right, astronauts. We visited Mercury and Venus. Let's get ready to go to the next planet. I think you guys might be familiar with this one. Put your helmets on, seat belts buckled, click, 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 five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Shh. Let's land with the next planet. Mercury, Venus, Earth. I think you guys might know a thing or two about Earth. Here is a beautiful picture of Earth. Earth is so very special to us because it's not too hot, not too cold. It has enough atmosphere to keep some heat in at night for us. And it is so very special because Earth has a lot of water and we need water to survive. So Earth is our planet. some pictures showing a storm of clouds out in the sky. And here's a pretty cool picture from Earth of Earth from out in space. Now the moon goes around the Earth. And here it's showing as a crescent moon. Very beautiful out in space. People have been able to go and visit and land on the moon. All right. Our planet Earth looks like this. There's a lots of blue water to help give life. There's white clouds to, for atmosphere to help keep heat in at night. And then there's green depicting the land, our special planet, Earth. Better take care of it. Let's go to our next planet. Helmets on, astronauts, seat belts buckled, click, 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 five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Our next planet is called Mars. Here's a picture of Mars from out in space. Pretty cool. So you might notice that Mars looks kind of reddish orange. That is because of the ground on Mars is made up of, it's kind of a dirt sand mixture that has the red color. So they often call Mars, call Mars the red planet. Here is a picture of Mars close up. Dust and soil that's red and then lots of rocks as well. So here is our 
example of Mars. Now, something that's kind of special to note about Mars as well is that it has these white ice caps on the end, which leads scientists to believe that at some point there was life on this planet because there must have been a lot more water. We don't know when, how long ago, but Mars, the red planet, a long time ago, may have very well had living things on it. Right. Let's go to our next planet. Helmets on, seat belts buckled, click, 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 five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Let's land on our next planet. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Jupiter, Jupiter. Now what do you notice right away about Jupiter? Hmm. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. So if you went to Jupiter, you would hardly be able to move because a bigger planet's going to have a lot of gravity, so it's gonna pull you down. So when you try to walk, you are gonna feel stuck to the planet. That's pretty cool. Jupiter. Jupiter is the very biggest planet in our solar system. Jupiter is the giant planet of our solar system, more than one and a half times as big as all the other planets put together. Here's an up-close picture of Jupiter. It's kind of like a work of art. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun, and it was named after the ruler of the Roman gods. It's a gas planet made up of hydrogen and helium, covered by constantly moving clouds, hundreds of miles thick. So that's what you're seeing there. And in fact, they're showing one area of lots of storms called the Great Red Spot. This is showing some, a picture of Jupiter's rings from the spacecraft called Voyager back in 1996. So Jupiter has some rings going around it. Jupiter has more known moons than any other planet in the solar system. It has 16 major moons and at least 47 minor ones. The four largest moons are named Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. These are called the Galilean moons after Galileo. Alright, let's go visit another planet. We gotta get off of this big planet because it's so hard to move. Helmets on, seatbelt buckled, click, 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 five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Alright, let's land at our next planet. The one with the rings is called Saturn. Saturn. Saturn has some really beautiful photos in this book. It looks like a rainbow planet. That's just because of all the gases around in the atmosphere when the pictures were taken. It diffracted the light and made it look so beautiful. Now Saturn is special because it has all of these rings around it. It's the second largest planet after Jupiter. If it were hollow, it could hold about 750 planet Earths. Here's a picture of all of the rings going around Saturn. It might appear to have just a few rings, but spacecraft photos like this one show that the large rings are made up of thousands of smaller rings. If you were to get closer, you would see the rings are made up of pieces of ice. Some are as small as a fingernail, and others are as big as a house. Can you imagine a piece of ice floating around as big as a house? The rings also contain some dust and bits of rock. The rings are nearly 17,000 miles across, but only three miles thick, so they're pretty thin. Saturn has one large moon, six medium-sized moons, and a ton, about 56 of little satellites. All right, let's go visit our next planet. Helmets on, 
Seat belt buckle. Click, 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 click. Oh, wait, stop. I almost forgot. I didn't share my model of Saturn with you. You can see all of the rings and how they're pretty wide, but then pretty skinny on the side. All right, now we can move on. Helmets on again, seat belts buckled, click, click, five, four, three, two, one, blast off. All right, let's land at our next planet. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. Now we're getting pretty far away from the sun. So you can imagine it's going to be pretty cold up here. They've noticed that Uranus is tipped on its side in space. Kind of like how the Earth also spins on a tilted axis. Here's a close-up picture of Uranus. It has five large moons and at least 22 smaller ones. You can also notice that Uranus has some little rings around it as well. The rings are made up of chunks of an unknown black material that spins around Uranus like lumps of coal on a mirror. Let's go visit our next planet. Oh, it's getting so cold. <laughs> Helmets on, seatbelt buckle, click, click, click. And I better show you Uranus before we move. Looks like a green planet from far away with the way the light diffracts through the gas. All right, ready? Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Let's land at our last stop is Neptune. Neptune is too far away from Earth to be seen without a telescope. So they've only been able to get some pictures of it with very powerful cameras. Neptune is a rain gas planet with dark storms, giant hurricanes, and streaky white clouds. It's pretty amazing to think about what might be out there way far away from the sun. It's been called a world unlike any other. Neptune has at least 13 moons, two large ones, and 11 smaller ones. Triton is the biggest one. It's about 1,700 miles across, about the same size as our own moon. Ready? Let's get to see. It looks like. This is Neptune. Neptune appears blue from far away because of the way the light diffracts goes through the atmosphere. All right, astronauts, you have just visited all of the planets in our solar system. Of course, there's a lot more to learn, and I encourage you to keep exploring our solar system. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.